it means we're going to get them roughly uh, another five hundred thousand dollars from the state uh, based upon the fact that one of our tax rates and even though one tax rate decrease one increase for no tax increase on anybody debt uh, we will get another half million dollars from the state It's very, very important. Uh, that's a half a million dollars that we can use now towards our you know, teacher salary uh, increases. When, when we increase those salaries from a starting salary of 31000 to, to 50000 minimum starting salary in Marlin, those salary increases cost about a million dollars. So you know, we have a half million dollars now because of this TRE that we just passed that, that goes towards helping pay for that million. And I'm really committed to the idea that it was very, very important. You can't pay $31,000 in Marlin for teachers as a starting salary, when starting salary in Waco is fifty thousand dollars, nobody's going to drive nineteen miles to to to, to Marlin to take a nineteen thousand dollar pay cut. So I'm I'm very committed to the idea that if we want to recruit the teachers we want and then keep them. We're going to have to be competitive. I believe that the teacher makes all the difference in the classroom. You know, you give me some quality teachers with some quality principals who have an instructional program going, and then things start to change for those kids. Uh, you know, that, that wasn't the case in Marlin. Not that we didn't have some great teachers, we did. We were inferior by losing them, the few that we had that were great. But we also had some, you know, when you're, when you're a teacher that only 14% of your kids can pass the state exam every year and you've been here three or four years, you know, what's up with that? Uh, we need better teachers than they can, they can turn in those kind of results. And we have them. You know, we kept the ones that were doing good for us and we've got some, you know, really hot shot teachers. And, we need some more hot shot teachers. We're not done. No, we're not out of the woods, but we're a step closer to where we need to be. You know, we had some dramatic increases. 10 out of 17 of the state tests last year had, uh, in grades 3 through 8 had double-digit increases. So, you know, we, we saw some good gains last year. I think we'll have some more this year. Um, you go to the classrooms now, and for the most part, you see some quality instruction uh, in almost every classroom. The state funding system for schools is exceedingly complex, uh, so to, to explain that in a way that's easy to understand is, is not, not easy to do. Uh, I'll say this, it, it goes back to the, you know, if you're familiar with the Robin Hood program the state has where they take money from rich school districts and they give them to poor school districts. Uh, it comes from that pile of money. So the state's already taken money from a rich school district, but they base how, how much they're going to send us on our, what they call their, our maintenance and operations tax rate. So we have two tax rates. We have a maintenance operations tax rate and we have an interest in sinking tax rate. So every school district in Texas has two tax rates. But they base how much money the state's going to send you only on one of those tax rates. So what we just did is maximize one and minimize the other one so that we get more state funding. So we get, a, we get that money that the states, they've already taken the money from some rich school districts. So don't worry that we're taking the money from somebody else. The state's already taken it. They're already taking it from them. And so if we don't get our, you know, our share of that money, the state's just going to use it for something else. I don't know what they'll use it for, but I know this. They're not going to send it to Marlin. They are now. So thank you, guys.